the brothers and sisters in Christ, today we hear from the gospel already, teachings. The Lord said, if you love your father and mother, wife or husband, or your kids more than me, you are not worthy to call my disciple. And sometimes people thinking that in their life, how come I don't have to love my parents or my kids or uh, my wife or husband? And it mean I have to hate them and go away? It's not. But I want to explain to you, explain you about uh, this meaning, what we have from today's gospel reading. Sometimes the brothers in Christ, people use excuse do not to come to the church. Some uh, person said, well, we do not come into the church because we are busy for our kids. They have a hockey players or something and we need to be with them in the hockey players. The other said, well, we are not uh, going to the church because we go for our uh, uh, holidays. We have no time or we are so busy working uh, something we have to work to make money for, for everything for our daily life. And we always get excused. And we always have no time to come and pray to God. And then the brothers and sisters in Christ, the trouble coming. The young family lost their daughter. And she said in the news uh, in the TV, Oh, I can't believe it. It's, ha it's happened to me, but it is killed my daughter in the car accident. And they are asking, Why God do not protect us, uh, uh, my child? Or why God do not protect my life? Because the answer is, because you are so busy. You have no time to come to the church and pray and ask God for protection. To protect your family, to protect your kids, to, pr pr to protect your uh, parents. And we are so busy and that trouble is coming and we ask him, Lord, why you let go ahead and this bad thing to our life? But this is not God's fault. It's our fault. Like I have a man, oh, I'm not coming to the church because I have a golf player in the, uh, playing in the morning. But next time, if, if it's the time, right time, I, I promise to you I will come. And especially for me, it's, it was so hard to see people in the hospital. I visit them, I give them to holy communion, and they take this holy communion like our last chance to win. And after that, they get better. And they promise, oh Father, believe me, I promise to you, after the hospital, I will be come to the church, and I will be praying in the church every day and every time. But when they left, they forgot to come to the church and said, thank you, Lord, for help, for everything. Always people have excused their bodies in Christ. And this, uh, some, uh, life is too short. And when we die, it will be no excuse. But you are all here, the brothers and sisters in Christ. And I thank you so much for coming to this holy temple. Thank you for praying for us, uh, with us. And thank you for asking God to give a blessing to all of you. Today we celebrate the Father's Day. And I have a story about uh, one teacher, professor of the seminary. And he was uh, the spiritual father to all students. And he takes his students to the car, and he explained to them, look, if you have a clear car, you will see the God blessing and God creation, and you will be uh, alert how beautiful God created the world. And then you will see his blessing, and you will be always feel he will walk, he walking with you. And in that time, the young girl walking by, and she was a prostitute, and she listening what uh, the father teach, and she asked him, Father, what are you done? How many years you teach uh, uh, this young man? And he explained, well, four years already, and soon they will be left seminary, seminary, and they will be start their preschool. And she said, well, you've spent four years but uh, I will use my finger like this. They will all let you and follow me. And the old father priest smiled and he said, you're right. 
But I want to explain to you why it will be handled like this. To going down, it's always easy. By, but to going up to the mountain, it's always hard. And like today, it will be easy for you to sleep in the morning, eat well, and don't be even thinking about the church. But so you wake up in the morning, you preparing everything, your kids, your family, and you are here. And you are here praying with us. And I believe the brothers and sisters in Christ, you will have a blessing from God. Because you are here. And He always loves you. And He always will be taking care about you. And today, like I said, it's a Father's Day. If uh, you're a father alive, pray to God and ask God to give him good health, good uh, uh, happiness, and may God give him salvation. But if your father passed away, let us pray together and ask God to give him memory eternal and some sort of best.